This is Jackie and I'm here with Go Go Penguin on day four of Bonnaroo. The rain has stopped, the clouds have parted, it's about to get gross in here. Are you ready for another day, another good sunny Sunday? Yep. Yeah. Nice. So from Manchester, England to Manchester, Tennessee, it's like, you know, you never really left. <laughs> <laughs> um, your latest release is a uh, Hundrum Star. Um, how is that an evolution of sound since like fanfares? Since fanfares, I think it's quite a big evolution, really. I mean, fanfares feels like a long time ago for us guys now. But uh, I think, um, you know, it's just been a gradual one for us. You know, to people listening, it's probably a much bigger change going from one album to the next. But for us, we're always coming up with different ideas. Even when we're kind of on the road, we'll try and find new ideas and we'll try different things together. So it's uh, it's been, you know, a gradual process throughout all those years. But I think we're trying to add a lot more electronic ideas. You know, we're really into a lot of dance music. And... Uh, I think we've been trying to just refine what we've been aiming towards doing since the beginning. You know, we had an idea of what we wanted to do. So we're just kind of refining that. And I think the last album is a good example of it, really. Yeah. So how do you go about choosing your set list, then, if you feel that the music varies so much? It really depends on the situation. So, like, you know, we're playing at a festival. There's quite a bit of, like, rock and dance and stuff going on. So maybe we don't play some of the more chilled, intimate ones. And we, we just try and make it as rocking as we can, really. Do you guys prefer the more outdoor venues or the more intimate indoor clubs? I think we, we kind of like it all, you know, each uh, venue and each atmosphere makes the music different for us when we're playing it. So, yeah, I don't think we have a preference, but pretty excited about today, I think. Yeah. Do you try to keep the music as similar to the recorded album or do you change it up and have a little bit more of a free form when you're playing? They've kind of changed over time, haven't they, really? Um, <laughs> go on, what were you no, going to no, say? I was going to say on. the same yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's, it's something that kind of develops over time. So, you know, we, after a while, we'll be gigging the same tunes for like, you know, a year or more when we release an album. So it gets to a point where we start getting a little bit tired of playing the same sort of music. And there's a lot of improvisation in there and a lot of space within the tracks or, or within a lot of the tracks, you know, for, for this kind of uh, development and experimenting. But with some of them, we have to revisit them when we're back at home. You know, we'll actually make a conscious effort to think, oh, we'll do something different with this now and, and then we'll take it out on the road. But, you know, as Rob was saying as well, all the venues are very different and playing like outdoor festivals, you know, we get to do a real mixture. So that all makes it, you know, opportunities for us to play differently and make the music different each time. Speaking of experimenting, you guys have a, a kind of interesting DIY approach. What are some ways that you guys create sounds that are maybe not as conventional? Well, um, Chris uses what we, we call it in England, kitchen roll. You know, I don't know what you call it in America. You know, like the towel, towel stuff. What is it? What's it called? I kitchen don't know. Kitchen towel or kitchen paper. Yeah, maybe. I don't you know, know like yeah. the paper you... Paper towel roll. Paper, paper towel, towel yeah. roll, yeah. So Chris used that in the studio on the piano to dampen the strings. And uh, he's also got some effects on the piano and I've got effects on the bass as well. And Rob does all kinds of mad stuff with lots of different things that I can't even describe. So now how many paper towel rolls do you have packed for Bonnaroo? Or do you, do you find new ways to replicate that? Yeah, we've got new ways, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, how do you do it, Chris? Oh, it's top secret. Yeah, yeah. I'm not giving that a secret away, you know. <laughs> I was going to say, like, what happens if you're super far away? You're like, what do I do? What do I do? So you got to make it happen. Um, what, what performances are you excited to see today? Who do you want to catch? Um, this is really bad, but I don't actually know quite who's playing today. Oh, we're going we're gonna to have to take you around then. Yeah, yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. We can make that happen. Um, what's up next for you guys after Bonnaroo? We've got, uh, we're going around the U.S., so we're, we're going, I think we're heading north next, aren't we? So we've got Minneapolis, yeah. and then we're going to Seattle and Portland, and then going up into Canada. Oh, it's going to get nice and cool from there, I promise. <laughs> After today, everything will be a breeze. So be sure to catch out more from Go Go Penguin. This is Jackie, thanks to Chorus FM, and in the key of change.